Hi, what's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ifan Yeze. On today's episode, I will be discussing everything you need to know about going to Korea, South Korea for language studies. A lot of people want to enter South Korea with language studies, but they don't know how to go about it. And today, watch this video to the end and you will learn everything you need to know. You don't need to pay anybody to do it. You can do it by yourself after watching this video. I'm going to drop links you will need. Like this video, share it, subscribe, and hit the notification um, bell so that you won't miss any of my video. All right? There are so many ways, there are so many schools, rather, in South Korea you can apply to. The one I recommend is this Korean University Language Center. I will drop the link in the description go to the school type the name of the school you will see the language programs they're offering you can study german you can study chinese you can study korea english in the school but i prefer you study um, korean language because in the country it will be easier and better for you to study korean language in the school all right so what you need to apply is your high school diploma if you are from Nigeria, your high school diploma is your WAEG, all right? And you need to pay tuition, sorry, application fee of 900 Korean won. won. So in US, they use dollars. In Nigeria, they use Naira. In Korea, they use won. So, and that's 900 Korean won is less than $1, all right? So it's less than $1, and that's your application fee. That application fee is not refundable. After you've paid the application fee, and submitted your application with your WAEG and CV, they are going to respond to you in less than two weeks. They respond to your email, check your email often. When they respond to your email, they are not going to tell you whether they've accepted you or they rejected you, but mostly they will accept you if you have all the requirements they needed for you to apply. After that, they will invite you to pay your tuition fee. Your tuition fee, you will pay it before they give you admission offer. That's how it works. And that your tuition fee is 1.75 1.75 million Korean won. That is about 500,000 Naira. All right? So that is the money you are going to pay. That's your tuition. After you've paid that, they will now give you application, sorry, admission later, officially welcoming you to the school. But the good thing is this, if you couldn't get your visa, that um, tuition fee will be refunded back to you, all right? So it's not like you are losing the money. They will refund you your school fees if you didn't get the visa. Now, when they've given you the admission offer later, the next thing is to prepare for visa interview. You can go to any of their embassies within the country where you are living in. If you are in Nigeria, it's good. If you are a Nigerian and you are outside Nigeria, you can go to the embassy of that country. I mean, the embassy of South Korea in that country where you are living. If you are in Dubai, you can go to Abu Dhabi. If you are in any country of your choice where you are resident, you can go for visa interview. And the things you need to apply for visa is you need your passport data page. You need um, proof of fund. Proof of fund is like the most important thing you need to be careful about. And the amount of money they need you to prove is $10,000. If you can prove that you have $10,000, that's the amount of money you need to live and survive in Korea for two semesters. All right. So that's for your school fees, your feeding, your house rent, your personal upkeep. So they need you to have that amount of money and you need to prove it. By current exchange in Nigeria, $10,000 is less than 5 million naira by official exchange. All right. So that's the money you need to prove. The next thing you need to take a, a passport photograph, which is the one we call passports. ID, it should be 3 by 4 cm, 3 by 4 cm. Just tell the person taking the photograph, you need passport 3 by 4, they know what to do. And you need to write SOP, you need to show your certificate. If you are going for language studies that is bigger than one semester, then you need to show an attestation of your results. For instance, if you have your WAEC certificate you need to go and attest it that attestation is send it to the embassy of south korea in the country where you are living 
all right they are going to attest and say yes this this um wayek result is legit is the right one this person is not like lying about it it's not a forged result then they will confirm it and they will give it back to you so you need it to apply for visa that is it and you are ready to move all right so once you've gotten to this level the next thing is to prepare your bag um they will send you the visa and then all these things can happen under three months under three months you should be done with the admission and visa wahala you are ready to go then you book your flight you fly to korea and you start your programs a lot of goodies in korea i will talk about that in the next video thank you for watching i hope you share this video like comment if you have questions drop it in the comment section and i'll be there to respond to you thank you for following me this is a fine easy